Alright everybody, this is Gabin, and we're back playing Alan Wake. This is part 16 of the Let's Play, so let's do this shit. Is this like a graveyard? No, it's a, still a garden. It'd be kind of creepy if there, was a gar if there was a graveyard at a mental institution. Oh shit. Ow. Oh, hey. No. Shit. Fuck. That didn't go well at all, did it? Well, I'm ready for you this time. Well, let's go. Where are you? I'm not falling for your tricks this time. You asshole. I know there's more of you, but where? Boom! Okay. So, let's keep going. Let's see what we got up here. More crows. I still hate those bastards. Flare! Hey, 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 none of that. There we go. Come on. There we go. I just don't get how a gyrating gate can hurt someone. Unless it's like violently. Like, oh, manuscript page. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Well, then why should I even bother continuing? bother with continuing this let's play if the world's just gonna explode. Damn it! Emil made Tom do it. I still don't know who Tom is. I feel like the game probably mentioned it, but didn't tell me or I don't I wasn't paying attention most likely. I tend to space out a lot. It really isn't good for gameplay. Especially story driven games like this. There's something over here. Oh! Shit. Oh! Shit. One more. Alright. No match for me. Just, just can't take this. Something over here, according to these arrows, probably another box. Or something that's gonna make people appear behind me. It's far more likely. Can I load that and then just have it ready for when I need Yeah, I can. Okay. Um. Over here, then. <coughs> Fucking trees, leaves, and foliage threw me off. Assholes. I thought that was a manuscript page. Oh, coffee. Oh. You're not Barry. You'd like me to think you are, but you're not Barry. Mine. This is all mine. No, I don't want to use the shotgun, though. Manuscript page. You look like a manuscript page. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. 
Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. <laughs> so I deck him again? I thought Hartman was dead, though, not gonna lie. Alright. This seems a little too easy, but... Hey, Barry, let's go get some danishes, or... Don oh, donuts. Yeah, donuts sounds real nice. I love donuts. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of... So why aren't you trying to unlock it? Oh, shit. God damn it, Barry. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on, you goofed. I'm on it. You goofed up bad. Oh. You Barry. Wait, You're a dick, Barry. You know that? Are you sure? Are you, are you sure? Are you like positive you found the key? Fuck. Yeah, I'm out. How did we just apparate? Car? Why is there a cutout of me? Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not Pretty sure dead. people... Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Ow. I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Telling me to look out when you're the one driving. Really, Barry. Really. That was the best course of action. I lost my gun in the crash. God, Barry was damn it. to be seen. Okay, so I'm defenseless in the dark. Barry, Barry. Oh man, you're okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout I is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? 
I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Ah, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? I still don't really like You're Barry. Have to find your way around to the farm now. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. God damn it, this Barry. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Didn't I save there, Alan? He almost walked off the edge. Fucking crows. Never a good sign. Everything is shaking. Zeus is taking a shit. Fuck. No. Fuck. No. No. Let's not deal with that. I don't want to deal with this today. Hide behind something, Alan. Metal bars. Good. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Huh. Is, this, is there anything that's not gonna get possessed? I just want my goddamn manuscript page. I wrote this. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Huh. Walter. Not sure who Walter is. Of course, I probably have heard that too, because I just realized I know who Thomas Zane is. And I just didn't recognize it. Thomas Zane was the author who was here. Or not here, but he was on the lake. Oh god damn it. Why? I just want some coffee, damn it. Ha, that smarted you. Oh stupid now. Oh, fuck. Why are you still up here? I feel like some MC Hammer music would be appropriate here. Uh, fuck you. I just gotta make my mosey on over to the uh, uh, their farm. Why is there so much stuff here? I, I'm unarmed! And I ran right into it. Damn it! Stop it. No, wait, no, that's where I just came from. Ah. Oh, fuck. Stop. Fuck. Fuck. And I should be safe here. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get away. Uh, what's this do? But I need a generator, of course. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Any power? No? Manuscript page. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. 
His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. This Nightingale guy's an asshole. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. He said as he cranked the alleg. Wow, I was. <laughs> I almost called the generator an alligator. What the fuck? I probably shouldn't go this way. Yeah, not going that way. Just a bunch of rocks and shit. And shit and rocks. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. A well, flashlight's nice, I guess, but still doesn't really provide a means of defense. No, 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 no. I'm sure they are. Please do something useful. Please do something useful. Please do something useful. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hey. I can take the shadow off these guys, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do once I do that. Ah. I wasn't fast enough getting to get a generator, I guess. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Alright. I still feel like they could have incorporated like a melee feature or something like that, you know. Something that doesn't render me completely useless when I have no gun. You guys are not good for my heart. Ow, fuck. Fuck! Seriously, what am I supposed to do? The generator... No, I'm gonna figure out what this generator fucking does. I don't care how many times I have to die, I'm figuring this out. But I know it's gotta do something. Come on. Gonna try and drag them away. Fuck! Alan got tired. I could sense the. Okay, th actually, this is gonna be the last time. But I, I really want to figure out what this fucking generator does. No choice. It has to do something. It's not just gonna be sitting there. Fuck. I see you. I don't care. Fucking... Fucking stop! It's turning into a rage game, God damn it! I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without you know, a weapon why the fuck dangerous, not? but I had no Trust choice. no one in the dark. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks. <sighs> and we're sprinting. Are you fucking kidding me? Where did the... I'm gonna go backwards because I don't. Are you kidding me? Let's get to the fucking light then. No, what, what the f. Duh! What am I supposed to do? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. 
Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. <laughs> but that fucking generator is just there as a distraction. Fucking shit. Just gonna take these batteries and f fucking fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you in particular. Fuck all of you. Ah, oh, fuck. Dicks? God, that was bad. Okay, um... Yeah, this, this is a nice stopping point for this episode. Um... Remember, if you like this video and would like to see a video similar to this one, uh, drop a like below, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in part 17.